So as we continue our coach firing coverage of the NFL, we talk about the Chicago Bears and their firing of head coach Matt Nagy and even general manager Ryan Pace. Make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm and also only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. So the Bears not only fired their head coach in Nagy, but also GM Ryan Pace. Back in 2018, the Bears really thought Matt Nagy was going to help turn the team around. He was a former, you know, quote unquote, offensive genius, assistant coach. We all know how that story goes. They traded for star defensive player Khalil Mack. They had some great young draft picks and they even made their first playoff berth in eight years where Nagy even won the AP NFL coach of the year. So everything was awesome back then in his first year. But that was extremely short lived as the Chicago Bears finished their 2021 NFL season 6 and 11, which ended Nagy's four year tenure with a 34 and 31 record and an 0 and 2 record in the playoffs. We all know that Nagy used quarterback Mitchell Trubisky for most of his tenure, but that turned into an absolute disaster train wreck. And new rookie quarterback Justin Fields just wasn't ready this season. Now, the Chicago Bears hired Nagy for his offensive skills as he helped lead great Chiefs offenses, but but, I mean, it looks like that was really more of Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid than it was Matt Nagy. So as I said, after year one, things are looking pretty good. But the last three years, the Bears offense has finished 29th in the league, 22nd in the league, and this year 27th in the league in scoring offense. Yeah, that's absolutely terrible. Now they had some great defensive play, but no defense is going to help you win enough if your offense is that bad. In his first year, they actually could have won a playoff game, the first one they played, but as you all remember, their kicker missed what should have been an easy kick, but it was the double doink. They went through quarterbacks, like I said earlier, Mitchell Trubisky, Nick Foles, Andy Dalton, and then this year, rookie Justin Fields. I mean, Nagy just couldn't figure out how to run an offense for any of them. And people blame all kinds of reasons. I mean, the offensive line wasn't that great, but honestly, if you watch Bears games, you could see Nagy just didn't have a game plan. He just looked lost whenever he was trying to call the plays. Now, the Bears have had some decent talent on their team, and I do think Justin Fields can turn into a really good quarterback. I think he can be a solid starter in this league, but their next coach needs to be able to build an offense around the players, not just force players into doing whatever the coach wants to do. It just seemed like Nagy didn't pay attention to his personnel on the field and just decided, hey, you know, let's run this play. I don't care who's on the field. You guys just got to do it. And clearly that didn't work at all. And honestly, that's one of the hardest parts about coaching is planning around your players and matching maximizing their abilities. Matt Nagy just wasn't able to do that. From what I've seen, it looks like most Bears fans are beyond ready to move on from Matt Nagy. So let me know what you think the right decision is now. I mean, they also fired their GM. So the Chicago Bears have the potential to completely turn this roster upside down if they really want to, and they can just go full rebuild. So let me know in the comments down below who you think the best coaching hire for them would be. And Bears fans specifically, let me know who you want them to hire and what you think about Nagy's firing. I'm pretty sure you're happy. I mean, Bears fans have been saying for a couple of years now that they want a different head coach. And Ryan Pace, you know, he made some good moves here and there. But honestly, I think it's great that Chicago is getting a fresh start. New GM, new head coach. I think Chicago is one of the most classic NFL teams there is. And I would love to see them be good again. But it's going to take the right coach. As we all know in the NFL, no matter how many good players you have, you really need a good coach to bring the whole team together. I personally think, me, it was just way overdue for Nagy to be fired. And maybe the Bears organization can get a good head coach in there who can bring the talent together and put an actual halfway decent offense on the field. You know, if they had a middle of the pack offense over these last couple years, who knows, they could have, you know, maybe won one or two of those playoff games or gone even further. I think it's going to be really interesting following the decision that they make. Uh, like I said, I think they really need a good offensive quality coach to take advantage of Justin Fields and his potential. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel as I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out. As always, I'll see you in the next one.